Pants. And then next to that we have our reading bench and I will link a tutorial for this as well um, in this blog post. This is also an Ikea shelving unit and it just houses, I'm on the floor with you guys, Ugh, too old for this, um, all of our reading and all of the books on this side over here are, are um, books for our literature units that I wrote that we're doing and then we have our imagination series and some C.S. Lewis books and then up on top we have some more like board books and early readers for Tinkerbell and Teeny Top and then some games are in the other side and this was just a fun cozy kind of reading area for the kids that I thought would be um, just a nice spot for them and they actually do use it all the time so it fit perfectly on my wall so it kind of worked out. And then above that, I just have some posters. I have our Pledge of Allegiance, our Presidents, our Books of the Bible, and then a number chart for Tinkerbell. She's the one that mostly uses that right now. And then next to that, I've got our largest IKEA shelving. And obviously, I love IKEA stuff for our schoolroom. It is so functional. The cubby holes are huge. Um, and as you can see, it holds just like an enormous amount of things so and the white finish on it is really shiny and it actually cleans off really really well so even though it's white you don't really have to be afraid of that um, so and then let's just start on the top here um, this is my printer I get a lot of questions about that as well it's a brother 490 CW and I wouldn't really recommend it I actually don't like it that much the quality isn't great and the ink is expensive I would much prefer having an HP photo smart printer and I will purchase that once this one dies, but it seems to be living forever. So I'm just thankful we have a printer. Um, and then the one next to it is actually my big format printer. This is a Canon i9900 and I had this because um, I digital scrapbook and it will print 12 by 12 sheets for me. It uses an enormous amount of ink as well, but the color is amazing and um, so there's some labels in there for CDs right now. Um, and then next to that I just have some of my candy jars with some manipulatives in it and then my Ikea paper holder and behind that is our um, leftover Brazil diorama that we made like years ago and the kids just don't want to get rid of it. And then above that all I have this train alphabet which is just cute and actually they refer to it all the time so I keep it up there. Um, on my shelves so that you can see it a little bit better, oops sorry color is crazy, um, are all of my letter of the week binders and I just pull them out. We're on the letter M right now and I can just pull it out, open it up and it's kind of crazy messy but I just have everything in there uh, for the letter M that, and I just have the games kind of stored in these page protectors so for the most part they stay in there and then I can just pull the games out as I need them and put them in the teeny touch drawers. So that's how I store that. It's not you know anything complicated but it works really well for us. It did take 26 binders so that was a little crazy but it's okay. So there's the rest of those and then at the end I have my K4 binders and um, those right now it's a letter of the review. The new one says K4 on them so if you purchase it you'll see that. And I would say probably I doubled my curriculum for K4 so I think probably at least four or five binders to hold that now. Um, the next um, shelf down I have these blue bins that I got for Lakeshore and I will link those in the blog post as well and they're just teacher bins and this one holds all of our like a Becca phonics flashcards and kind of phonics stuff and then it holds my extra um, calendar pages as well I just kind of stuffed them in there this one is mostly the teeny tots area as you can see all of her manipulatives and I've got just her little pom-pom magnets and our regular magnets and buttons and just all kinds of stuff in here and then here's her tweezer tongs I get questions about these as well and these are just toaster tongs bamboo toaster tongs from Bath and Body Works they were like a dollar um, the next one over is our math section and it holds math flashcards and our um, number cards I don't know not too exciting and then the next one over is some more books, and I actually do have these separated out in five in a row books. I have not done the five in a row program with Teeny Top, but I love the books still, um, and so I just keep them so that they're easy for me to pull out. And then this one actually has all of our um, artist series books that we went through last year, and they're kind of just housed in there. This might actually be my artist to study, so we need to still do that one. And then our music one that we're doing this year. 
And then these are all of our file folder games and any lap books that we've made over the years. This is um, Turbo Shark lap book. And so that's just an easy way to store all those. And they're pretty low down so the kids can actually get them all easily and look at them again. This next whole shelf across um, is filled with a piece of paper. These, um, they're, they're called 8x8 project cases, but they're actually 10 by 11 I don't know why they call them 8x8. I guess that sounds better. Um, and I got these at the container store, but you can also get them at Joann's. And I just really love them because they kind of all fit in my shelves nicely. And then they just lock up, and you can literally put anything in them that you want. And so I use them to hold all of our manipulatives. We've got sewing stuff, buttons, letter tiles, um, those little beads that pop together, some math stuff, some lacing cards, felt, dominoes, shape, those are tangram shape cards. Um, and then over here is that blue tray that you guys all love. And it was from a phonics kit, and I will try and find that and link it below as well, but it's just a blue cookie sheet, and so the Kitty Cat uses this thing all the time for her activities. And then over here we have some more stuff, um, some more of those bins, teeny top bins, and then these little bowls, which I actually found in the Target section, um, kitchen section. And Teeny Tot uses them all the time to sort stuff, and she loves them, and they play kitchen with them. And then this, <laughs> these are all takeout bins. Yes, we ate out a lot. Um, from a barbecue place here. And they're the perfect size for small manipulatives, and so I just wash them out. And then we put all kinds of different things in here. These are um, the beads, buttons, um, paper or clothes pins, letter tiles. I don't know what those are. Little clippies, um, paper clips, and then some more beads. And what I use those for is when I need a manipulative for one of the preschool activities, I'll just grab one, and then that way she's kind of getting a different one every day. And it's easy to grab and just throw in her drawer. And then I have some more over here with the pearl or beads and some dice and some other stuff. And then right here, um, I just have our numbers for our calendar board, which I'll get to in a second, our weather, and then our little calendar days. And they just go over here on the board. And they're just easy for the kids to get to, to do their calendar time. So, And then the next row down just has us some more clear bins with bigger kind of items. I'm not going to go through all of that because you guys are probably already bored. And um, then over here is our coloring books. And um, I actually really love these, so I'll show you one. Um, they're, they're doodle dolls, and they have like dinosaur ones for boys and other ones. But these are great coloring books. They actually are kind of partially drawn, and then they can color them in, finish the drawing, stuff like that. They're actually really cool. Okay. And then in the bottom section are these... Um, and these bins come from Ikea as well. I think they're like $4 a piece. Um, and they're humongous. And this holds all of our puzzles and um, just whatever. So we've got blocks in one, puzzles in one, um, and just all kinds of stuff like that. So that is, if I can refocus for you, our Ikea shelving unit and I love this thing and I would highly re recommend it. It's super sturdy, like you wouldn't believe. And like I said, it cleans easy and it holds a ton of stuff. The next wall, let me close this door for you. Can you close that door? Okay. Um, has our palm tree, which is just a, if you Google palm tree bulletin board, you'll find it and I just got it at a local store. And then you can download those letters as well for our alphabet, but that's all of Teeny Tot's letters that she's going through. And then we have our calendar area below that that they work on each day. And then next to that is our dive into reading board where they um, earn their beads and their brag tags and all of that. And then the next thing down is probably like a two by three um, magnetic whiteboard. And this houses all of our um, all about spelling tiles and then I keep the um, Tinkerbell sight words up there and all of that. So we use that board a lot and looks like the teeny top might have been writing a letter in the middle of that. So that's what that is. And then down here a friend gave me this is our language station and these cards are kind of cool. Um, and so like each day Turbo and Strawberry Shortcake will come and pull out a card and just do the activities on it and they are dry erase cards so they can do it right on the card. Some of them require them to write on paper but they're just quick little kind of fun things just to work on and so they have punctuation, grammar, word analysis, spelling, correcting sentences, and vocabulary so I know it's kind of hanging goofy but that's what that is and that is from Lakeshore Learning as well I believe and it's the daily language station. 
Okay, the last thing we have is our supply caddy in the middle of our desk, and I get so many questions about this, and we love this thing. Um, this particular one is by Making Memories, and it's actually a scrapbooking caddy, but I used it for homeschooling, and I don't know if they make this still. I've had a hard time finding it, but I did find one at Target and at Michael's under a new brand called um, Recollection or something like that. So I'll link that for you as well. And this just holds all of our supplies that we use. We have colored pencils, we have pens, we have these spin-up crayons, which we love, um, stamper markers, and then do -a dot markers, and then a little pointer dealy that we use. And then they also have these drawers underneath, and we don't really have anything in them right now, So, but you could put crayons or erasers or anything you want in there. So this is great, and like I said, I'll link it below as well. The last thing that we have is our Ikea setup for our desks, and we absolutely love this. We got it last year. It still looks basically brand new. There's a couple chips in the top of the desk, but that was actually my fault. Um, and we use these spinning junior size chairs, and right now they're fine. They are not probably the chair you want to get if you have like an adult sized student because um, they really are for smaller kiddos. I can sit in them, it's just not as comfortable. Um, and then here are the work boxes that we use from Ikea right now and I'll do a separate work box post for you just because I get a lot of questions about that and comparing this one with the Joann's work boxes. Um, but just quickly I'll try and kind of show you what's in her work boxes. So um, she's got obviously her little supply tray with her pencils and erasers and then her daily learning notebook and then I think she probably has yeah her Mr. Popper's Penguin lap book as well under there. The next drawer is um, her Grapevine Bible Study Binder in the back, and then her handwriting. And then we have her math drawer, which has her um, blocks, her DVD from Matthew C., and her worksheets. And then her reading drawer. Right now we're working on Abeka readers just because we kind of switch them out, and we have their Rebecca, um, the Abeka Phonics cards in there as well. Um, and then she is also doing Abeka spelling worksheets. We do all about spelling as well, but I don't keep them in the drawer because um, I just keep them over on my shelf over there with all of my books. And then the bottom drawer is her Abeka language and phonics worksheets. And I just pull out her new worksheet for the day. Okay, so that's pretty much our school room. I'll do a quick pan of it again just so you can kind of see it all again. Um, oh, I forgot to mention we do keep our artwork hanging up there along the thing, and that's just on one of those IKEA wire hangers. And then a couple of various posters and all of that. So that's it. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our homeschool room tour and I'm sorry it got so long, I just had a lot of stuff to show you. But if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at erica at confessionsofahomeschooler.com and I will do my best to get back to you. And I will also try and link everything in the video in this blog post so that you know where we got everything. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon.